Springs City Council passed a non-binding resolution urging exhibitors at an upcoming gun show to refrain from selling weapons similar to those used in the Newtown shootings. Susan Steer is a local nurse who brought the issue to a hot point following the Sandy Hook massacre. A few days later, I found out that a gun show was going to be held at our city center here in the town. I was completely blown away that this would be going on so quickly after the shooting. Steer called the city center and was told there was no plan to cancel the gun show. She began an online petition, which racked up hundreds of local signatures and comments in favor of calling off the event. Former firearms dealer and collector John Teig writes a blog critical of Saratoga Springs City government. He points out previous gun shows have been held without incident. Well, they've been doing it for 25 years and they've never really had a serious problem. And I don't believe any gun that ever came through the gun sale in Saratoga has ever been found to have been used in a crime. So they're barking up the wrong tree. Teig would like to see lawmakers on local, state and national levels refocus their efforts when it comes to guns. If they were really concerned with illegal gun sales, gun shows are highly regulated businesses in the state of New York. Person point-to-point -point casual sales between adults in the state of New York are not regulated. And if they would put their energy into passing regulations for point-to-point -point unregulated gun sales, they would be a lot more effective in reducing gun violence in the state of New York. Tag notes that unregulated person-to-person -person gun sales are rampant throughout the state. He says they are transacted through penny saver type newspapers and other classified ad print publications. Saratoga City Public Safety Commissioner Christian Matisson agrees that rules need tightening. The most important thing that we can all do is to contact our legislators, both at the state and federal level, to get uh, more restrictions on these types of weapons. Certainly the types of restrictions that were in place between 1994 and 2004 uh, on the federal level uh, should be brought back. I, I think Obviously, you're not going to get all these weapons uh, out of the hands of, 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 of people in general at, at once, but I think that's a start. Joanne Yepsen is the Saratoga County Supervisor for Saratoga Springs. This morning, she brokered a compromise agreement with the gun show promoter, allowing the event to be held as scheduled. Well, the compromise is that we are not bringing in to sell or display any of the semi-automatic Burmaster type of weapons into the show on January 11th through 13th at the City Center in Saratoga Springs. The promoter has agreed to contact all vendors to make sure they comply. Dave Lucas, WAMC News.